Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more dragons today with me tiny turtle where we are going to be working on tons of home improvement slash nation improvement but some good news before we start any of that guys we got the cure we got the cure for pyro we gave it to him last night so i am so excited to check if it worked i'm going straight down now to see if he's okay if you guys missed out pyro was poisoned he wasn't doing too good he was still growing really really fast but he was poisoned and he didn't have long left and look at the size of him he's definitely growing wow ezra he looks great this is so good tiny turtle he has made a full recovery it's a miracle oh it is a miracle and a huge huge thank you to our friend the healer for sorting this out for us you know what we're gonna have to do something very nice for him maybe send him a gift basket or i don't i don't even know what he'd like but definitely something and look at the size of him i mean is it just me or is he bigger oh yes and he's growing at an astounding rate the poison must have slowed him down but now look at him he'll be a giant in no time He will, he definitely will. Uh, you know what, that reminds me. I'm gonna have to get a lot of food for this guy. Maybe maybe some bigger food. Like, this fish just won't cut it. Maybe I'm talking like whales and sharks and stuff because if he gets to become a giant night fury, like proper giant, then he's gonna eat a lot. Good idea, Tiny Turtle. I'll keep the dragons busy while you're gone. Now, who wants to play fetch? All right, have fun. You know what? I'm going to take Pyro over to uh, to his cave now, and I'm going to see what we need to do in there as well, because I'm going to do a lot of home improvements here today as well, because we are back up and running as a strong nation, so it's time. It's time to get this place sorted, and I need to get rid of that. So you guys told me, actually, this is all crazy. You guys told me that I died and little lizard saved my life. But I didn't see him. Why wasn't he here when I woke up? I mean, that kind of makes sense why that, uh, let me see. This thing was down here, whatever this is. My kind of, I don't know, like a funeral or memorial or whatever it was. Uh, but I didn't see him at all when I woke up and I don't know where he is. So I don't know if you guys know where he is. Make sure you let me know. I'd like to thank him and I haven't seen him in so long. I didn't know he was still in the Dragon Worlds. But that's so cool. Okay, look, he's got so much space there to grow up and grow into. So that's nice. I do need to work on it a bit. You know, give it a bit of a border. Um, definitely flatten it out a bit. Make it easier for him down there. Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. But I did want to work on my house too. I want to get rid of these prisoners. You know, I might just send them back to the Fire Nation. They've been here long enough. I feel like they've done their time i don't know i mean i know they're just gonna go back to the fire nation and go back to being bad but i can't keep them here forever i, I have to send them off i have to do something so maybe i'll do that as well let's see i need to hmm i need a bedroom for the dragon tamer guy you know what i'm gonna give him a cool bedroom where will we put it where will we put it we could put it do is this I haven't even really gone around the house. Okay, that's not big enough. In here. Ooh, we could put it in here. We could clear this stuff. All right, so a bedroom worthy of... He's like a really good dragon trainer. So, and he likes red and gold, it seems. And his dragon, dragon is yellow and cyan blue. So, they're the teams we're going to go with. So, let's see what we can come up with here. We're interior designing for dragons. That's fun. All right, guys, we got his colors. We got a few decorations here, so let's get working. I think I'll do this, the colors of his dragon on the ground. I think that'll be pretty cool. So let's give that a shot really quickly. This should be quick and easy because it is a small enough room, but he'll definitely be happy because he's been here for a few days without any room. He's just been sleeping outside, which is, uh, you know, it's not very good on my part. I'm meant to be a host, so... Let's host. Here we go. Let's build this bedroom up. Show you in there. And bring that right around. 
So his dragon is that kind of yellowy goldy with this. I want him to be happy with it as well, not just, oh hey, I'm somewhere to stay. I want him to be really happy with it. So let's do this one yellow, and then we can check out the red and yellow. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, but I have it there anyway. I'll show you guys what I mean in one second. Do -do 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 -do. We're nearly there. And boom. Okay. And then, yeah, I need to work on the area for the Deadly Natters, the Thunder Drums. Uh, we've only one Thunder Drum, but still, we might get more in the future. Uh, I need to work on the cave for Pyro so that I have an entrance as well. And that, we can, that way we can block off the front of it and just let him be able to get in and out if we want. Let me see this, this red, red and yellow. Let's see what it looks like because that's kind of what he looks like himself. Um, yeah, okay. It works. It'll do. We have some beds. Red, of course. So I think I'll put the bed. Ooh. Ooh. Where would I put the bed? Right here. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, we've got bedside lockers. We've got some lamps. If you're reading at night time, doing some studying up on some dragon theory. Uh, we can put a wardrobe in here. This is looking good. Looking nice. Okay, I did get some gold and a chisel because I wasn't sure, but I might I might do a little bit of gold, make the place look a bit fancier. So I was going to chop a few blocks off. Like so. And we're getting lots of them. Okay. Now what'll I do? Will I just like frame this? Ah! Because I want him to think it's real fancy. You know? Representing our nation, of course. It's gotta be good. It's gotta... Gotta be fancy. Okay, and then we can just come in here. Oh no, we can't go in there. Because it's actually a window. Uh, we can go up, though. It's gotta be tough. Oh, remember I used to make the cool dragon statues of each dragon? That was pretty good. Oh wow, did I use them all already? I mean, I haven't made a dragon statue in a while. Although, I feel like Ezra's dragon statues are a lot better than mine. I used to make mine out of these kind of blocks, but Ezra's are, like, lifelike. So, I don't think maybe I shouldn't do that. No! What did I do? Maybe we can take it out. Boom, we got it back. Okay. I'll just do one of these. Oh! <gasps> what is going on? How does that keep happening? As I was going to say, I'll just do one of these to show you guys what it looks like. And then I'll finish off the room so that we can go and do some other things. we got lots to do. I do want to go and find out about the giant dragons a little bit more. So maybe we'll go and visit someone and um, have a little chat. I mean, there's definitely people who are experts in like history and stuff like that. So maybe they know a bit more about... The giant dragons. I could ask one of the guys if they know anyone. That would be fun. Because I really do need to learn as much as I can. If Pyro is going to be that big and that strong. And frankly that dangerous. Then I'm going to have to find out guys. I can't leave it up to chance. Okay. Oh. And. We got a little gold frame going on. Ooh, that would be cool, because then I could put something nice inside that. Let's just take this down, and then I'll finish it off myself. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, no. Excuse me, and excuse me. Yeah, it's looking a bit better, but I'll definitely fill it in with something. So maybe I'll do one and show you a little dragon or something like that. That would be really epic. Oh, if I could do the Myth Nation logo tiny with little bits that would be so good but i don't know if that'll be possible i'll give it a shot okay guys that is as good as i could get oh it's it, it kind of gets it across i mean it's 
Not that good, but it's so hard to do. I mean, it's so small. And you guys know what the Myth Nation logo looks like. If you don't, let's just quickly run outside. And then I'm gonna go on my adventure to find someone who knows all about the giant dragons and the legend of the ancient dra giant dragons. So that'll be fun. So there's what it looks like. Like, I mean, to do that, that size is just impossible. But that's my best go at it. So I'll put them around. I hope you guys like it. If you have any other ideas, let me know. You could do some builds. Tag me on Instagram. I'll see them. Um, Instagram links are in the description and I could check them out. Maybe I can put those ones in. But right now, let's go on a little adventure. Okay, so guys, I talked to Ezra and the other guy and they told me of this, uh, I don't know, this like historian who used to study the ancient dragons and gave me these coordinates, but I don't see any... House. Is that a house? Whoa, it's completely hidden. Let me see that. I have been walking around in circles here. I thought it was up on top of this and everything. And look at this. It's like so overgrown and hidden. I mean, there's lights on, but is there... Nobody could live here, surely. I mean, they would, they would not let this happen to their house if they did. Hello? Oh, there's a guy in there. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Uh, excuse me, I, I'm looking for a historian who who specialized in giant dragons. And I'm looking for some info on giant dragons. Do you, by any chance, know any? Ah, yes. The legends of old. It is said dragons used to be so huge that they could move mountains. They have slowly gotten smaller over thousands of years. Big enough to move mountains? I mean, I've seen some big dragons and even a giant dragon, but nowhere near the size that you're talking. I mean, uh, do, do you have any examples or do you have any more information for me? Well, yes, of course. There are many tales. Would you like to hear about the bewildered beast that moved mountains to suit himself? Or maybe the storm cutter who could dip the clouds with his nose while sitting down? Wow, so big that it could sit down and touch the clouds. I can only imagine how fast that dragon must have been able to fly around and wow, a bewilderbeast that just barges through mountains. I mean, this is all crazy. Yeah, just, just tell me anything you know. Well, it is said the dragons were so big that not many could survive. They ate full forests for breakfast and that there was simply not enough food on our planet to go around. So gradually, over time, they've evolved into smaller dragons, where there is now plenty of food for them. Rumors are that some of the giant genes have survived and passed through dragons over time. So there may be still some giants out there, you know? Oh, there definitely is. There definitely is. Okay, well, thank you so much for your information. Sorry for bothering you. I'll let you get back to it. But um, that's pretty fun. I mean, I've got some stuff to go by now. I can go do some more research. So, thank you. Oh, wow. I didn't know they got that big. I mean, obviously Pyro won't get that big. Like, the size he's talking. Because they're the ancient, ancient dragons. And then they've slowly gotten smaller. So, if, if Pyro does still have a bit of giant gene and DNA inside him, then maybe he could even get like a quarter that size or half that size. I don't know if it'd go that big, but either way, let's get back. I need to figure out the food situation for Pyro and also his enclosure. So let's get back. I think I'll need to fish like whales and sharks and stuff, like I was saying. So maybe I could go find a fisherman tomorrow. Um, it's getting a bit late today and he could take me out on a boat. And maybe I could catch some fish. That would be pretty cool. But right now, I'm just going to get back and see what we can do. Alright, time to get a little bit of Pyro's area sorted out. Like I said, guys, we gotta do plenty of more work here on our nation because we want this nation to be the best nation there ever has been. And, of course, you guys told me that Scuba Steve is at the Dragon Academy. The little lizard. Which is nuts. Like, how did I not know they were there? I knew Scuba Steve was off teaching to learn to be a teacher, but... I did not know that that's where he was, which is pretty cool. So I'll have to go visit them soon, but I want to build enough here as well so that they can come visit me and they can have a really good time. So I want to make it look cool first and foremost, and then like I want to 
you know, build rooms and all that kind of stuff. Have it, have it so that it makes sense to have guests over. I mean, look at this. This is already pretty cool. It's a uh, pretty suiting of Pyro, I think. Ah. Oh wow, I'm gonna run out pretty quick though. Okay, now the trouble is trying to do the same as that on the other side. I mean, I could try. Or it doesn't even need to be. It just needs to keep coming around, doesn't it? Let's not try to be symmetrical here. And then, of course, I will put a little thing so we can go up high and look in. Because we always want to be able to check on Pyro. But, you know, I don't want people bothering Pyro. And I want a bit more security here. Because a lot of people try to steal Pyro as well. That we've got to remember that. I mean, no... Well, I, suppose, I was going to say nobody's tried in a while. But we were just in the maze. But I, I kind of can't remember any of that. That's why... It's uh, it's not coming straight to my mind when I think of this, but we gotta keep Pyro safe. Fur Pyro's had a, a tough run so far, so it's our job as Pyro's uh, owner and trainer. I shall keep him safe. So this is the first start of it. You know what? We could get some like uh, some sort of wizards and stuff to put spells on Pyro's walls. That means they're unbreakable. Stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure we could find out where these wizards live and stuff like that. I mean, I'm just trying to think outside the box. We gotta think of crazy things because that's what everyone else is gonna do. They're gonna go crazy to try and get Pyro. Either try kill him or take him for them, their own and use him as like a bad dragon. You know, I'm obviously talking about like the Fire Nation and stuff. So... You know, I've got to think outside the box too. I've got to be ultra, ultra, ultra careful. Okay, so this is a good start though. Just getting him his own area. Nice and cordoned off. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas, be sure to leave them down below. I need to check them all out. Every single one of them. I need all the good ideas because it's, it's going to be tough to do this by myself. But I know we can do it. Okay, I'm not going to take all this out. I just want to get rid of a little bit of it. And then, I, I really like the looks of this black concrete. It's pretty cool. I got some red too, because obviously it matches pyro. So I wanted to do a bit of decorating, but I really don't have enough of the uh, black concrete first to go around the whole way. I want to do it much higher, like kind of like uh, castle walls. So I'm going to need a bit more than that. But at least we're getting somewhere. Oh, no. Don't put it back down. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's a little stair, a little barricade. Uh, then we're going to put an entrance somewhere, probably here. So let's take this out. Uh, okay, now this would be nice if it was centered. Let's just go there for now. Okay. And we can do a little archway so that Pyro won't be able to fit out, but I'll be able to fit in. That might be nice. Uh, when I go up one and then across. And then... <gasps> no, I messed it up. Get rid of you. And... Boom. That's symmetrical. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we could do then some red. I don't know, we'll figure out the design later. Oh, that would be so cool, actually, like a dark castle with red little spikes like that. And we could have it all uh, have it all enchanted so that it can't break. That would be pretty nuts. I like the looks of that. It suits Pyro, I think. Because inside there's going to be a giant red and black Night Fury. I mean, you're going to know not to mess with that. Which will be cool. We can actually turn them into spikes. Maybe. We'll see. But I need to bring this wall higher anyway. But that is my idea, guys. I hope you like it. It's going to be pretty cool. We can do steps down then. Maybe a big lava moat. You know, keep them nice and secure. And then, of course, block it up and have our own entrance up there as well. For when he hibernates. Because if you guys didn't know, he hibernates for years at a time. Years. So I don't know when that's going to happen. I, I mean, I guess he's going to be awake for years first. And then he's going to eat a lot. And then he's going to hibernate. But 
I want him to be have a, a safe, comfortable place when he does want to. And this is where it's going to be. So I shouldn't really keep doing this because I'm going to bring this wall higher. Definitely. Maybe we'll just do a red design on the outside of the wall. But guys, that is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow for another. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'm going to banish this fire nation. I'm going to go fishing for food. There's lots that needs to happen. I've been invited to the Dragon Ball soon. So I need to get prepared for that. I mean, there's some cool stuff coming up, guys. Make sure you don't miss it. But until then, bye!